Hey everybody, Nick James here for Nick's Nerd News, getting you your week of geek in just four minutes. Now, let's dive right into it. Unfortunately, we have to start in a little bit of a somber tone, but this man is somebody who should be celebrated, who should be remembered, and is honestly just a hero in the nerd community. He's John Rogers. If the name doesn't ring a bell, it might not be somebody that you know off the top of your head, but he was the president of Comic-Con. There was such a thing, and the man had the job for a long time. He was beloved at the company, and unfortunately he passed on the 10th this past Saturday. And uh, Comic-Con put out a tweet to remember their late great John Rogers. It is with profound sadness that we announce the passing of John Rogers, president of Comic-Con. John died on Saturday, November 10th, 2018, as a result of complications from a glioblastinoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer. As longest serving president, first elected in 1986 and re-elected every year since, John's tenure saw Comic-Con grow from a select gathering of fans to the largest and most prestigious convention of its kind in the world. Little known side fact, just a little bit of extra geek just in case you couldn't get enough, George R.R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones and the co-executive producer of the great HBO show that follows, was literally, literally one of the first names ever to sign up for Comic-Con. Isn't that awesome? John Rogers, you will be missed infinitely. Moving on, we're going to start talking about some Titans. Are you guys on the DC app? Have you started it yet? Well, you should, because it's awesome. The original programming brought to you by the DC app is now in its fifth episode. This is the episode we've kind of been waiting for, though the first four have been great. It's, we wanted to see these Titans come together, and that's what we finally got. Well, I'm not going to spoil very much, but we have a group of baddies chasing down the Titans. So, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and Robin are starting to come together as a unit and find that they must train as a unit so they could fight this group of bad guys efficiently. We get to see the four really start to work together as that team that we were hoping for, and to be honest, they look great doing it. They stop the baddies in question, like they were always going to, you know, they were heroes, that's not a spoiler, but at the very end, Robin goes to find the puppet master of the marionettes that were the bad guys, and when he does, he gets taken over, and surprise, spoilers guys, ready? Another Robin comes in to save him. If you're not familiar with DC lore, many boys have put on the Robin uniform to stand next to Batman, the first one being Dick Grayson, who we've watched up till now. This second one is none other than Jason Todd currently being played by Kern Walters, who put out this behind-the-scenes photo of him in the mask. It kind of looks a little bit painted on. It kind of looks really stuck to his face. It looks exactly as it should. But in the next episode, we're going to see two Robins kind of fight and go at it. If that doesn't get you to want to download this app and watch these first episodes and get on the Titans train, I don't know what will. I mean, it's a literal perfect show so far. More to come as that show develops. And finally, we have made it. The Harry Potter movie is here. Fantastic Beast, Crimes of Grindelwald is going to be in theaters on Friday. You can catch it in previews as early as 5 o'clock where you will find me, myself, and I. Anyway, the movie is going to take the characters who we were already introduced to, played by Eddie Redmayne, Catherine Waterston, Dan Fogler, and Alison Sedol, and we're going to kind of mix into the world that was the Harry Potter before that. We're going to get a young Albus Dumbledore. We're going to get Grindelwald himself. And other characters are speculated to also live in this world that will take these two franchises and start to meld them. If you have been a fan of Harry Potter, this isn't the first time we've heard of Grindelwald. He was first mentioned in the first Harry Potter movie when Harry got that trading card that had Albus Dumbledore on it. And he said it was famous for defeating the evil Lord Grindelwald. It's come up before. We're going to start coming round circle. I'll let you know my review. I have been Nick James. This has been Nick's Nerd News. Make sure to check back all the time, every Tuesday at 2, right here. Thanks, guys.